Hi, my name's Duncan. I'm a medical student. Uh, can I ask your name? It's Tom, sir. Great. And can I confirm your age, please? I'm 26. Okay. I've been asked to examine your coordination, balance, and how well you're able to walk. That will involve asking you to walk around a bit, and then testing the movement of your eyes, your mouth, your arms, and your legs. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. If you're uncomfortable with any of the tests at any time, just let me know and we can stop. That's fine. Do you have any pain? No, no, no. no. Okay. To start with, can I ask you to sit on the edge of the bed? So, inspecting Tom's posture, his posture is normal and stable, and he's got no abnormal movements. That's great. Now, with your hands placed across your chest, can you stand on the floor? So, with your arms by your side, swinging normally, can you walk to the other side of the room, turn around and come back for me? So, I'm inspecting Tom's gait, initiation, turning the side of the room. Now, I'd like you to walk as if you're on a tightrope, placing your heel to your toe with each step. That's fine. Come stand here. Now, with your arms by your side, I'd like you to stand with your feet touching if you're able to. That's great. Now, I'll be here to catch you if you've overbalanced, but I'd like you to close your eyes. That's great. Open your eyes. So, rumbling test is negative. So, what I'd like you to do now is stand on your tiptoes. Good. And back down. And now, stand on your heels and lift your toes off the floor. Good. Have a seat. Thanks. So next I'm going to test the movement to your eyes. I'd like you to keep your head still. I'm just going to hold your forehead. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to follow my finger with your eyes. So I'm examining Tom's eyes for nystagmus. That's fine. Next I'd like you to repeat a short phrase. Baby hippopotamus. Baby hippopotamus. Now if you swing your legs up onto the couch, so now I'm going to test your arms. To start with, I'd like you just to go completely floppy and let me move your arms. So I'm testing for tone in Tom's arms. I'm going to use this hammer to test your reflexes. It shouldn't be painful. If you just put your arm across your chest, that's great. Good. Now I'd like you to lift your hands out in front of you, keep them still. So I'm checking for tremor. Now turn your hands with the palms facing the ceiling, keep them still, close your eyes. So I'm examining for pronate to drift, ideally I'd wait for about 30 seconds. That's fine. Open your eyes. Now I'd like you to touch each finger to your thumb and turn, to repeat that motion as fast as you can. Now place your left palm out, and with your right hand, place the fingers into the palm face down, and then face up, and then repeat that motion as fast as you can. That's great. Now swap hands and do it on the other side. Good. Well done. Thank you. So now I'd like you to, with your right hand, place your index finger onto your nose, and now touch my finger with yours, back to your nose, back to my finger. Good. Now do the same with your left hand. Good. Well done. Now I'm going to test your legs. Just going to relax your legs and let me move them. Now I'm going to use the hammer to test the reflexes in your legs. Now 
last test, I'd like you to take the heel of your right foot, place it on your knee, slide it down your shin, and then lift your foot up to touch my hand. And then repeat that movement. That's good. Now repeat it with your left foot. That's fine. Great, that's the end of the examination. Thanks very much. Have you got any questions? No. Thank you.